Hello, and welcome to Test Complete. In this video, we will continue learning how to resolve the unable to find the object error. If you have not seen the first video, we recommend that you watch it before you continue watching this one. In the first video, we have shown how to fix the error caused by the object name change. Now, let's proceed with other typical causes. In this video, we will show you how to fix the error caused by changes in the application hierarchy. We will continue working with the Web Store project that tests an online store application. Look at this test log. The test failed because the test engine didn't find the object. First, let's check if there are any other errors or warnings preceding the unable to find the object error. Usually, the first error in the log corresponds to the problematic test command, and further errors are caused by that first error. There are no preceding errors, so we're going directly to the error. Go to the Details panel to view the full name of the object to which the missing object belongs, and to the Picture panel to see the screenshot taken when the error occurred. Here, we can see that the object was present in the application. To investigate the error further, double-click the error in the test log to jump to the test command that posted that error. The error occurred when the test was trying to get a navigation bar to the top of the web page and was not able to find it. Let's check whether the object actually exists in our application and if its name is correct. To get the application running and being in the same state as it was when the error occurred, we're setting a breakpoint on the problematic line and rerunning the test. After the test reaches the breakpoint, we stop the test run. Click this button to open the Object Spy tool to select and explore the problematic object in the tested application. As far as we can see, the object name is correct. Therefore, it's most likely that the error has occurred because of the object's position in the hierarchy has changed. To detect changes in the hierarchy, switch the Object Spy to the Advanced mode to view all object properties and view the object's full name. Compare it with the name that the error message specified. To understand the hierarchy better, you can explore it in the object browser. So, click this button to locate the object in the object tree. By examining the hierarchy, we've learned that there is an intermediary panel between the navigation bar and its parent header object. To fix the error, we're going to add the intermediary panel to the test by typing its name in here. Let's see how this will work. Remove the breakpoint, close the tested application, and rerun the test to make sure that it works correctly. This time, the object was found. We would like to mention that this approach will not work if your tested application has a dynamic hierarchy, that is, if your tested objects are migrating between various parent objects. To work with such migrating objects, we recommend that you use name mapping or various find methods to search for the needed objects throughout multiple levels of the hierarchy. Before we finish, I would like to highlight the major key points of the unable to find the object error. Examine images posted to the test log during the run to learn your application state when the error occurred and check if the needed object was present in the application. When troubleshooting the error, have your tested application running and in the same state as when the error occurred. This covers another possible cause of the unable to find the object error. We still have one more possible cause to go through. To learn how to resolve it, please watch the next video.